Hi, this is David McCam for Elementor 360. Welcome to another 360 tutorial. In this video, I want to take a look at the Copy to Clipboard widget that's part of the Dynamic Content for Elementor add-on pack. I'm sure you've seen this functionality on websites. It's often used as a convenience function for copying long license keys, email addresses, coupon codes, or code snippets. It's faster and less prone to error than manually doing a select and copy. For example, here's the copy to clipboard button in action on YouTube. Click the share button. There's a copy link here. It's now copied to the clipboard and you can paste the URL into your article or email or social media post. It's now possible to easily add a copy to clipboard button to your Elementor page or template using this feature from the Dynamic Content for Elementor plugin. In this short tutorial, we'll walk through how it works. So I have a test page here in the Elementor editor, and I'm going to create three examples. You find the copy to clipboard widget in with the Dynamic Content for Elementor widgets. I'm going to drag it in to a column, to a row, and in this one I'm going to create a button to copy a coupon code to the clipboard. This is the text for the button that I just added. This section here is for the alignment of the button. As you can see by default it's left aligned. This is center aligned, right aligned, which I think is the way we normally see it, and then justified which puts the button above the content that's being copied. So I'm going to go back to having it right aligned. You can change the button size, the icon, the icon position, and the icon spacing. I'll add a little space there so the icon isn't pushed against the text. So the first part of this widget is the button, and the second part is the content. That is what's going to be copied to the clipboard. And this is their default text here. And you can see there are three types of content that can be copied. There's a single line text field, a multi-line text area, and then a code snippet. So for this one, we'll choose the single line text area. And we'll add our coupon code. You see that it doesn't show there. That's because we have the option for the value to be hidden. And there's also the option for it to be read-only, which in the case of the coupon code, I think we would want it to be read-only. So now it can't be edited when you go to the front end. One thing I noticed is that the Copy to Clipboard button expands to fill the entire space. So what I'm going to do is add a couple of columns here. So that this doesn't take up as much room. And so that's the single line text field. Let's try it out and see if it works. We'll save this. We'll go to preview changes. Here it is. I can't, I'm trying to type, I can't change the coupon code. I click copy to clipboard and let's see. Yes, so it worked. So that's nice. And that was pretty easy. You can see how that's a nice convenience function to add for your users. Now let's try adding a multi-line text field. And this time I think we'll make it justified. So it's above. We'll put in our text. We're gonna do a Valentine poem. Let's see if we can get the icon next to the text. It isn't something that is possible there. So let's leave it like that and we'll go and add our content. We want this to be a text area and I'll make the value visible. And there's our little Valentine's poem. I'm gonna leave it as something that can be changed by the user, so not read only. So let's go and take a look at the style tab. For the buttons, you have typography options, shadow, normal state and hover state, colors, borders, border radius, box shadow, and padding. Those are the kind of things you would expect, I think. Then we have options for styling the content. Again, standard stuff, text color, background color, border options, padding options. Then for text area, 
there's an option for the height, which is translates into the number of lines for the text area. So I'll adjust that. And then an option for button position, the default is static, and then there's an absolute option. So when you click absolute, you get these options to set the top and right position and a button visibility option. We get something like that which you know doesn't help with the icon and the text, but I can see there might be some situations where maybe you'd like to adjust that or maybe use it in relationship to some of the element or positioning options. But anyway, I think what I'm gonna do here is since we can't bring these together, I'll just remove the icon on that one. So let's save that. Then let's go take a look. Let's see, are we able to edit that? Yes. Roses are red, violets are blue. Be my valentine and I'll be true to you. And let's see if the copy works. So we'll click the copy button and then go and try to paste. And yes, we got our little poem there. So that's working and that was pretty easy. Now let's go do code snippets, the third option. Again, we're going to find the widget and drop that in. And we'll do copy code snippet. And I think again, we'll set the button to justified and remove the icon there. Then this time for type, we'll select code. And I have a little code snippet I'm gonna paste in. Expand that just a little bit. So that's just a little WordPress code snippet to limit the number of post revisions. And you have the ability to choose which language it's gonna be. Lots of options there so that you can have the correct syntax highlighting. And then a nice cool little touch is you can select a theme for the display. We'll try the dark theme there. And we want the value visible and we want it to be read only. Now, one thing I noticed with the code option is that it doesn't show in the editor. So let's go see if it shows on the front end. We'll save and we'll go take a look. Here is our code snippet and we cannot edit it. So we will click the button to copy and let's go try to do a paste and that works. So that's the copy to clipboard widget. We have our three examples, the single line text field, that's read only, the multi-line text area, which is editable, and the code area, multi-line code area, which is also read only. The option to have the content portion editable or read only is a nice touch, as is the ability to set a theme for the code display. It would have been nice if the code showed as a preview in the editor, but it does show on the front end. And another thing to note is that when you look at these values, for example, the content, it can be pulled dynamically from the database. So you are able to use this widget in your dynamic pages or templates and pull the values dynamically. So that's nice. Overall, the dynamic content for Elementor copy to clipboard button is easy to use and the functionality worked as expected. And the widget adds a nice convenience function that site builders can use. That's the tutorial walkthrough. I hope you found it useful. Take a look at some of the other tutorials and resources available on the Elementor 360 website. Thank you for watching.